Well, as usual, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the Batty Pimplet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gordon, that's a feather in your cap. Pimplet back on the horse tonight. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Batty Pimplet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblett does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblett package, the accent, the persona. But this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. This is the single hardest belt in the UFC to defend. The UFC's lightweight division has long been a murderer's row, and this champion's latest challenger looks like he could come through and upset the uppercut. We were talking to him the other day, and I asked him about the fight. He goes, DC, nothing surprises me, because every time I go in there, I fight the toughest, scariest opponent. I understand my opponent's good, but I'm the champion for a reason, and I intend for it to stay that way. Seemed like he had a great training camp, a great weight spot, and even though there are definite stylistic challenges in front of him here tonight, told us on Thursday in the fighter meeting, skill for skill, I'm better to this than this guy everywhere, and I'm gonna prove it in a big way in front of this capacity crowd tonight. Charles Dubronx Oliver steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Patty the Baddie Pimblet. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Charles Goldbox Oliveira. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so Charles Oliveira ready to get back to it right now. He has evolved his game into the most dangerous lightweight in the world, maybe the most dangerous pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world right now here in modern day. Oh, Just missed with the left there. Quickly in there. Oh, oh he's got his button here. Now he's back up. Oh, Pimblet. Oh. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Patty Pimp. Nice body kick there. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, final 
starting to open up a little bit. cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. I'm not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong, he hasn't made any effort to take the fight there. I don't understand when you possess that skill, when you're so good on the ground, he's so strong in positions, he does such a great job of finding submissions. I don't know why he wouldn't spin the vast majority of the fight there. Tonight he is fighting a very confusing style of fight, and I just don't get it. His range with the jet. Oh, misses with the jet. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stay strong. Still in this fight. Let's go. Nice punch, man. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, real nice shot to the head in the clinch there. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he needs to try to chase down that finish. Beautiful. Pimblet's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Arm is very tight. This is it. This has to be the end. Man, I always think they're done. Surprise me. He's got to be careful here. All right, so the fighter's setting up another sub attempt here. Oh, and he gets out. He beat the knee by creating distance. Once you free your knee from the hips, you have a chance. This man was so good at staying calm in the face of adversity. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Pimp. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. And now he's inside the trip. Great defense by the defensive fighter.
look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. The ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your hey, opponent stop. was trying to do. All right, buddy. Take a seat. Deep breath. Listen to me. All right. You did awesome that round. You were real close to getting those submissions. I want you to stay a little bit tighter. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Pressing here. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Oliveira going for the takedown. He misses. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Nice. Nicely done. Oliveira's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. They got checked. Just over three minutes to go. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. About the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the it's bottom. Work, what is sweet? Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Gotta be careful here. Doing good. It's okay. Move, use your footwork. Oliveira's in half goal. Side control. Oh, good ground and pound here. Pimblet's able to transition back to side control now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Pimblet's back in full now. Waning seconds here of round number three. Ooh, new look attempt now, and it looks locked in. Ooh. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Come we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with the fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters.
fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Trying to recover full guard there. What a strike from off of his back. Pimblet's in half goal. Don't show the tip here. He's got it in. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Now he's going full mount. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. In the half guard. Yep, got to be very careful there. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pimble. Oh, another strike lands from the top. He set up a beautiful submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Pimblets in half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them full guard. Good work, come on. 20 seconds to go. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, 20 wow. minutes in the can, five to go. All right, take a seat, relaxa, respira. Olha, você tá sendo muito agressivo na luta, tá? Eu tenho que você, você tem que focar. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Pimblet going for the leg kick, he misses. Big shot lands for both guys. Nice kick there by Pimblet. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. There you go. There you go. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Heel hook looks tight. Now trying to escape, and he does. He freed his knee, got his leg all the way to the opposite side. Now, opponent has your back, but you're in a much better position. Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. 
Oliveira going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Oh, right into Mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Olivera's in half guard now. Change of the position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. Takes his back now. Oliveira's in half court. Great defense by this fighter. Stop, stop, stop. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 48-46, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx. All right, so we congratulate Charles Oliveira on yet another UFC win, but this one somewhat surprisingly, by decision, he goes to the cards. So many thought that Charles Oliveira, if taken into deep water, could not last. He has shown time and time again now, submission, knockout, or decision, it'll be hard to beat Dubronx. Congrats on the massive victory to Charles Oliveira.